the 9th Southern Gas Corridor Advisory Council Ministerial Meeting and 1st Green Energy Advisory Council Ministerial Meeting have kicked off at Gulustan Palace in Baku. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan Ilham Aliyev attended the opening ceremony. Dear President Johannes, dear Commissioner Simpson, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like uh, to welcome President of Romania, who is on official visit to Azerbaijan, and express gratitude for participation at today's important event. This uh, once again demonstrates the importance Romania is paying to the issues related to energy security and uh, our future joint steps will be done in close coordination between our two countries, which are strategic partners. I also would like especially express gratitude to Madam Commissioner Simpson for continued support uh, to all our initiatives for very efficient co-chairing of the Advisory Council of the Southern Gas Corridor. Uh, and for her contribution to successful implementation of this important project. Uh, today we gather for the ninth time, and uh, of course we have a lot to talk about, to review what has been done as we usually do, and of course the most important, to plan our future steps. A lot has changed in the world since uh, the eighth advisory council of the Southern Gas Corridor, which was held here a year ago, the world has changed. Uh, energy security issues became more and more important for every country. And as I usually uh, said during the meetings, that energy security really is a matter of national security. And all what has been done by our joint efforts with respect to building new routes and uh, engaging new sources now uh, seems to be much more needed than ever before. And it was good that we did everything on time. We did not lose time, though there have been certain delays during the implementation of Southern Gas Corridor project. But uh, in general, we were just uh, very committed to complete it as soon as possible. And now, by the way, we already talk about expansion. Uh, Southern Gas Corridor uh, was inaugurated only something more than two years ago, but already today we talk about expansion of TANAP from 16 to 32 billion cubic meters and expansion of TAP from 10 to 20. So this really demonstrates uh, the big need for alternative source of energy. Uh, this demonstrates the big need for uh, continued diversification of energy supplies. And we are ready for that. So all what has been done by our joint efforts in previous years, today, is at our disposal and um, uh, our team is becoming bigger. We have more flags today in this room and uh, more distinguished guests. There have been several important milestones last year which uh, demonstrate our joint commitment to energy security. First of all, I'd like to mention the important document which was signed here in Baku between the President of the European Commission, Madame Ursula von der Leyen, and myself on strategic partnership in the field of energy, which was signed uh, this July, and uh, which actually is a clear uh, roadmap for our future plans. So we plan by 2027 to double our gas export to Europe. And uh, this is doable because we have resources, we have uh, mutual political will, and uh, we have a very high level of mutual trust. So one of the important factors of successful implementation of Southern Gas Corridor project, uh, apart from all the technical and um, uh, sometimes political issues to be resolved is a high level of mutual trust, and I would even call it a mutual solidarity, when we immediately, uh, seeing that someone is in need, trying to, to support. 
And uh, I think this uh, good spirit of uh, partnership should uh, be a guidance for us in our future endeavors, especially now when, along with Southern Gas Corridor Advisory Council, we will have today the first Advisory Council on Green Energy. Uh, another important milestone was uh, inauguration of interconnector between uh, Greece and Bulgaria, which, of course, was generated by Southern Gas Corridor project and is, to a certain degree, its extension, which allowed us to start supplying natural gas to Bulgaria and uh, also uh, consider expansion through that extensions through that interconnector to the neighboring countries. Of course, uh, December was a remarkable month for energy security because of two important events. First, uh, signing of agreement between Azerbaijan and Romania on gas supply, uh, and uh, the gas supply will start soon. So Romania joins the team of uh, countries part of Southern Gas Corridor, and also signing uh, an agreement on uh, green energy development and transmission between Azerbaijan, Georgia, Hungary, and Romania, which uh, will create additional synergy for our efforts and uh, will actually open the new chapter in uh, energy security. So these were important milestones and uh, if we talk about this year, this January, we signed the MOU between Azerbaijan and Hungary on gas supplies. So this even expands the number of countries, members of our team. And all that is due to first a close uh, political relationship between the countries involved, uh, active coordination and uh, efficient chairmanship by European Commission and Azerbaijan of uh, our efforts, and also is a reflection of uh, energy dialogue which have started and was formalized between the European Union and Azerbaijan, which embraces natural gas, electricity, hydrogen, green hydrogen, and uh, I think this is a very unique and very efficient format for our cooperation. So as soon as the uh, uh, MOU with the European Commission on uh, increasing of uh, gas supply to Europe was signed, we started in Azerbaijan to work actively to uh, look for additional opportunities to supply more gas. Now, apart from uh, expected production from new fields, which we expect, for instance, this year, and uh, increase of production from uh, existing Chardonnay's field, which definitely is the case. We also work on uh, energy efficiency domestically. We are working on a program of reduction of losses. We are working on the program of combination of our domestic needs with respect to electric energy and natural gas to save more gas which we are using now to generate electricity in Azerbaijan for export. Uh, our uh, natural gas export uh, is growing. In 2021, it was around 19 billion cubic meters. Last year, it was uh, 22.6. And this year, we expect 24.5. So that means that um, MOU with European Commission is successfully implemented. We not only increase the uh, production, we increase export, and we expand uh, the geography. And I'm sure that uh, today, uh, the countries which are involved in this uh, project uh, will see, and already see the benefit of it, and also it allows through different other connections and uh, potential interconnectors to connect many more countries in Europe. And uh, with respect to resources of natural gas, I many times already uh, said that we have natural gas reserves which will be enough for us 
and our partners for at least 100 years. Today, uh, we are, of course, uh, looking forward to have the first advisory council on green energy. The team is relatively small. We have four countries, but with the potential to grow, because we think that um, not only governments, but also companies uh, will be interested in participation in this uh, important initiative. At the first advisory council, of course, the conceptual issues must be addressed, how we will uh, form our activity, what will be the responsibility of each country, how uh, private companies can be involved, whether it will be a consortium of companies or each country will do its part of work on its sovereign territory. So these are all issues to be addressed and agree because it's not only to produce uh, renewable sources of energy from Azerbaijani offshore and onshore fields, and also to build a new transmission line to our border with Georgia, but also to build a cable under the Black Sea. Therefore, we need to properly structure our plans and see who can be a potential investors, and of course, uh, we are looking forward to continue our cooperation with international financial institutions. Uh, I'd like uh, taking this opportunity to express uh, gratitude to governments of uh, countries, which are our partners, Turkey, uh, Georgia, Greece, Bulgaria, Albania, Italy, our new partners, uh, Romania, Moldova, Hungary, Special gratitude to European Commission for continuous support and uh, great leadership. Uh, also, I'd like to express uh, many thanks to the governments of uh, United States and United Kingdom, also for continuous support of our initiative and uh, providing a, a strong uh, uh, framework for broad cooperation, including investment opportunities and financing. Uh, the companies which are involved in this process, especially SOCAR and BP, two leading companies which uh, have already strategic relationship for 30 years and at least 30 years to come, and leading financial institutions whose representatives are present today, World Bank, EBRD, ADB, EIB, Asia Infrastructure and Investment Bank, IFC, so all the leading financial institutions are with us, and we hope that we will continue our fruitful cooperation also in the areas of renewables. Uh, today, uh, in Azerbaijan, together with our investors, uh, Mazdar and Aquapower, we jointly implement two investment projects of solar and wind power generation, a total of uh, 470 megawatt, and one project which is already in the pipeline with BP, which soon will start to be implemented on the liberated territories of Jabrail district of 240 megawatt. That will be a total of 710. And if everything goes according to our plans, within one year, one year and a half, we will have this capacity, and that will save hundreds of millions of cubic meters of natural gas for export. With respect to the uh, plans for renewables, apart from what I already said, only with uh, free uh, major energy companies, we have uh, agreed and signed MOU and agreements uh, to produce up to 25 gigawatt of renewable energy, offshore and onshore, solar and wind, uh, Mazdar 10, Fortescue 12, and uh, Aqua Power today will be uh, ceremony 2.5, additional to what uh, has already being signed and being implemented. So this is really a huge potential 
Therefore, when we are talking about Black Sea Cable, we need to plan it in stages and also to coordinate it with demand in Europe and, of course, to see a broad picture of uh, our potential cooperation in the European continent because I'm sure that uh, Romania and Hungary will not be the final destination for green energy. Uh, the potential of Azerbaijan green energy also is uh, available. It has been already uh, confirmed. Only offshore wind potential is 157 gigawatt. Onshore wind and solar 27. Up to 10 gigawatt of potential of wind and solar we have in the territories which we liberated something more than two years ago as a result of uh, patriotic war. And also we have discovered a big potential in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. And now uh, we are in the process of negotiations uh, to evaluate the opportunity to build a 500 megawatt solar power station. And I think there'll be even more capacity. So this is what we have. Now we have already uh, good records of achievements on uh, gas distribution. We have signed an agreement on green energy. We should create a synergy between natural gas and renewables and uh, look at it as a package. We have a strong uh, political will and also we have a good success story because so far all the projects which we jointly implemented in different uh, formats with different countries, whether it was Bakut Bilisi Jehan oil pipeline, Bakut Bilisi Erzurum gas pipeline, Southern Gas Corridor, all of them were successful. And I'm sure that our future plans to increase our presence with natural gas on European continent and our future plans with renewables also will be successful. For that, we need to continue teamwork, for that, we need to continue to support each other. And I'm sure next time when we meet in Baku, next February, we will talk about new achievements. Thank you for your attention.